Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I have another Cosday Baja skincare review for you. If you are new, welcome. My name is Sherry. I am a legit skincare junkie and I do love all things related to beauty and I review those on this channel. For those of you who are already a part of the family, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and I hope that it's going to be helpful for you. For those of you who don't know, Cosday Baja is a Korean skincare brand. They started putting products out in the market a couple years ago, which is when I discovered them as they were selling their products on Amazon. And the first thing that struck me about this brand is that it seemed to be the K-Beauty version of The Ordinary because they were releasing skincare products that were focused on specific active ingredients which was not usual in Korean skincare so that really caught my attention over the years I have done a couple reviews on their products I do have a playlist I will link those videos to you in case you want to catch up but today I have four products that came out within probably the last six months or so could be a little bit longer that I have been testing they've been in my routine for quite a while and I realized that I have not yet reviewed these on YouTube so we are going to get into that today. The first product is Coste Baja's newest moisturizer and when they came out with the Centella Gel Cream I was very happy because it was very appropriate for my skin type especially for daytime so I really was not expecting this release but Coste Baja came out with this product and this is the drying cream. Literally the worst name for a skincare product in the history of mankind. Or comment below if you could think about another product that probably has a name that is very unattractive to you. <laughs> I have no idea who came up with this name but they do explain why it's called the drying cream because it is listed as their cream for face sebum control for oily skin. And I definitely get where they're going. I just wish that the name was a little bit more appealing because I think that a lot of people may get turned off from the product because of the name but this item to me is one of their best products ever. Now in this release Coste Baja focused on the ingredients that they use in this product primarily niacinamide of course but hydrogenated lecithin and that's an ingredient that you may not necessarily hear about often or is probably not promoted very often but it is quite interesting that they included it in this particular moisturizer. Now, hydrogenated lecithin is actually included in a lot of makeup and skincare products to help the texture and the sensory feel of the product. It is an emollient, an emulsifier, and a penetration enhancer. This is actually also a skin conditioning ingredient, and a very interesting fact about this ingredient is that it helps to prevent moisture loss. And as soon as I read that, I completely understood why that was a focus ingredient in this particular moisturizer and why it is marketed for helping oily skin. Now many times you guys will hear me say especially if you are oily do not skip moisturizer. A lot of times oily skin is dehydrated skin and if the skin feels that it is missing that water it is going to produce excess sebum to try to compensate. So you have this problem where your skin is very oily and greasy yet it feels dry or dehydrated. And that's where ingredients like this particular one in this moisturizer is super helpful for people who are oily skin, especially during the daytime. This hydrogenated lecithin is going to help prevent moisture loss. But not only that, this moisturizer also has niacinamide, another ingredient that really helps with the water sebum balance in the skin. It also contains caffeine. Now, we usually find caffeine in a lot of eye products because of its ability to help circulation and the puff the skin and all of that. But did you know that caffeine also has a lot of antioxidants and soothing properties? As per a lot of Coste Baja's products, the base of this is aloe leaf extract and it also has propaneol. So it actually has a really lovely balance of ingredients. And while it is called the drying cream, this is not going to dry out your skin at all. In fact, let me talk about the texture and why this moisturizer has impressed me. And it has become one of my absolute favorite daytime moisturizers for my skin, especially under makeup. When you apply this moisturizer, you literally feel the hydration sinking into your skin and it settles really quickly and it settles to a matte finish. But the skin never feels dry. It never feels dehydrated. And as the day goes along, those ingredients are really working to prevent moisture loss. And if you could prevent moisture loss, your skin is actually going to produce less oil. I think this moisturizer was fabulously formulated and if you're oily even combination skin and you probably layer a lot of products you're looking for moisturizer that is not going to be heavy that is not going to make you extra greasy that is going to probably help manage your sebum during the day and also wear phenomenally under makeup i cannot stress that enough this moisturizer is definitely for you forget the name just go for it 
<laughs> the next new product is this. This is the Cosdeba Lactic Acid, their 12.5% serum. This is their latest release and I actually was not expecting this one. Now Cosdeba already has some exfoliating products in the line. They have their glycolic 10% serum and they also have a fabulous glycolic 7% plus 0.5% salicylic acid toner, both of which I have already reviewed on this channel. However, they've come up with another exfoliating product, this lactic acid, and at a very interesting percentage. Now, for those of you who don't know, lactic acid fall under the category of alpha hydroxy acids or AHAs, aka chemical exfoliation. Something that I actually encourage people to get into. Exfoliation is so important for many, many reasons. However, people can over exfoliate because of improper use or probably not selecting the right type of acid to use on your skin. Now, while a lot of people praise glycolic acid and rightly so, lactic acid is actually an unsung hero. Now, why do I say that? It's because the molecules of lactic acid are actually a little bit bigger than glycolic acid, so it does not penetrate as deeply, which means that it could be a little bit more gentle on the skin. But besides that, lactic acid is a natural humectant. So lactic acid tends to be the one that people with drier skin types could actually go for when it comes to chemical exfoliation. Now, why might you consider lactic acid? Because it brightens, it smooths, it helps to even skin tone. It can actually help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And because it's a humectant, it's also going to help attract moisture to your skin. Now, let's talk about this formulation. As per usual, the base of this serum is aloe leaf extract. And I personally think, based on my experience at Cosday Baja products and the strength of their actives, that that base actually helps how well the products are able to perform on the skin and still not be as harsh as you might expect it to be. Now, this is a 12.5% formulation, not something that I would necessarily recommend to a beginner. But in using this, I have realized that at 12.5%, this is actually quite gentle on my skin, but still very, very effective. It is the last Cosday Baja product that I've actually brought into my routine. And within about two weeks, I could actually tell the difference. Now, this particular product, I would recommend that you don't use it more than two to three nights per week. And you also don't want to use it on the same night that you use retinol. What I loved about this is that it really helped the texture on my skin. At certain times of the month, because my skin is producing excess sebum, if you understand the menstrual cycle, you'll know what I'm talking about. This type of product comes in really handy because during those times, I tend to get a little bit more texture on my skin and this really gets rid of it very, very quickly. For you to really see the benefits of acids and exfoliation, you need to be doing it consistently over a period of time. But it is one of those skincare ingredients that you will actually see results a lot faster. Now, something that I do want to mention is the texture of this really really is beautiful the texture of this is a little bit thinner than some of the other cos de baja serums and cos de baja serums tend to be a little bit more viscous and hydrating this one is also hydrating but it is a thinner texture at least that was one of the first things i noticed when i first applied it definitely if you are normal to dry skin and you probably want to get into exfoliation and try lactic acid and you're looking at the offerings on the market this is an excellent one to try and if perhaps you are an experienced glycolic acid user and probably as you're getting older you want to switch from glycolic acid to lactic acid highly recommend that you give this one a try the next product is cos de baja's new vitamin c serum and yes so there is a new vitamin c serum it is this one it's called the cos de baja vm vitamin c msm serum and this has vitamin c msm frulic acid vitamin e and hyaluronic acid and we will go through all of that but one of the first questions i got when i announced this on instagram is sherry which one is better so let me just say this the best vitamin c is going to be the one that's best and most appropriate for your skin why am i saying that is because there are tons of vitamin c on the market and cos de baja's first vitamin c serum the va which is the one that i absolutely love is their l ascorbic based vitamin c serum this one is not l ascorbic based this one is based on a vitamin c derivative sodium ascorbyl phosphate or sap as we commonly call it now while l ascorbic acid is touted as the most potent and the most studied vitamin c all of which is true not 
everyone could use ellascorbic acid it can be sensitizing for a lot of people and if you do have an ellascorbic acid serum like the Coste Baja VA I will encourage you to store it in the refrigerator because that really does help lengthen the shelf life as ellascorbic acid tends to degrade and oxidize faster than vitamin C derivatives at least in my experience so if you notice that ellascorbic acid is a little bit too much for you or you're probably now getting into vitamin C you may want to look at the VM serum from Coste Baja so let's get into a little bit about this sodium ascorbyl phosphate and how good is it really? SAP is a water soluble form of vitamin C that is a very stable and does not require a low pH or acidic environment to work. Because it is more stable, it will not degrade or oxidize the way l acid would in the presence of light or air. Now this formula has 5% SAP and you might think why am I going to choose a 5% vitamin C serum when there are so many higher percentage options based on the market but here's why. At 5% studies have shown that sodium ascorbyl phosphate is an effective antioxidant will help to neutralize free radical damage even skin tone and boost collagen production and that's exactly what you want from vitamin c but more than that this five percent sap has actually been shown to have antibacterial effects against p acne's bacteria which is the bacteria that causes acne so immediately if you are acne prone this would definitely be a safe vitamin c for you to use on your skin you are going to get benefits in terms of fighting your acne from this ingredient as well as all the regular benefits of vitamin c now the other interesting thing about this is that it is coupled with msm now msm is actually taken as a food supplement orally but there are studies that have also shown benefits to msm applied topically on the skin it has been proven to be beneficial for acne psoriasis eczema rosacea sensitive skin and basically people with more problematic skin the good thing about this is that vitamin C actually helps the absorption of MSM. So when you put both ingredients together, you are able to not just get the vitamin C benefits, but you are getting those amazing benefits from MSM and the vitamin C is actually helping that to work. And like if that wasn't enough, they have definitely included some other amazing antioxidants in this formulation like ferulic acid, green tea, leaf extract. There's also licorice root extract, which is another skin brightening ingredient and sodium hyaluronate which hydrates deeper layers of the skin. Now let me also just point out with this formulation, this serum, the texture again is hugely better than some of the other textures of Coste Baja serums. This one is a thinner texture so if you did not like the texture of the previous vitamin C serum, this one is absolutely amazing. While it is thinner and fast absorbing because of the base of Coste Baja products, it is also a hydrating vitamin C serum. Now, given that I do love l acid, I did test this vitamin C serum. So I took my l out of my routine for a month and I used this one strictly for a month and I was not expecting the most, but I was actually impressed that it was able to maintain the visible brightness of my skin. My skin also really enjoyed this one, especially because of the texture. It played well with my other skincare products in my morning skincare routine. And this is a vitamin C serum that I'd actually recommend to anyone from the person with very sensitive skin because the formulation and the ingredients are targeted there but even if you're somebody who is acne prone you will also get support and if you are a newbie because it is a vitamin c derivative there is way less potential that you will have some type of irritation and also because of all those supporting beautiful ingredients i think this is a serum that will be enjoyed by a lot of people it is a newer vitamin c serum on the market and one that should not be overlooked if you are someone who already knows that you like sodium ascorbyl phosphate or perhaps you like vitamin c derivatives try this one and let me know what you think and the last product in today's review is the cause de baja tran examic acid niacinamide serum this one i was so excited when i saw this release because tran examic acid has really been becoming more and more popular and i'm glad that cause de baja was able to bring out their product so early because it has been an amazing ingredient for people dealing with hyperpigmentation of all sorts on their website because they Baja actually emphasizes that this is for the face and neck now while you can use a lot of skincare products on your neck I am glad that they mentioned that because a lot of people are also having pigmentation issues on their neck and their chest area and it's just a reminder that this is a product that can safely be used in those areas now let's talk a little bit about tranexamic acid and why it has been getting the popularity and the hype that it so deserves it is newer in terms of being included in a lot of skincare formulations that's on the market 
but studies have been very, very promising. Tranexamic acid is showing that it can help treat existing pigmentation, like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. You know those marks that you get after a breakout, as well as things like melasma, but not only treat existing hyperpigmentation, but it has also been shown to help prevent future PIH, for example, after laser treatments and so on. So tranexamic acid is one of those ingredients that when we talk more hyperpigmentation, we definitely need to talk about this ingredient. So how exactly does tranexamic acid work? So we have some different types of cells in the skin. We have the melanocytes, which are the pigment producing cells. And then we have the keratinocytes, which are the cells that synthesize that melanin into the upper layer of the skin, which is when you start to see the pigment visibly. Based on the information that we have, it seems as though tranexamic acid is blocking the transfer of pigment from the melanocytes to the keratinocytes. One of the other amazing things about this ingredient, unlike other ingredients that could probably be used for treating hyperpigmentation is that this is not going to make you more sensitive to UV. So this is an ingredient that can be safely used morning and night. In fact, some dermatologists actually say that it actually decreases your sensitivity to UV. And that's one of the reasons why it's becoming so popular in places like India and Asia. Now, hyperpigmentation, post-acne marks, melasma is something that is of concern to many, many people. And several people are looking to ingredients like hydroquinone, but they also question the safety, the possible side effects of ingredients like that. Tranexamic acid is a really good alternative or option to look at. The other thing that I love about this ingredient is that it works well with almost anything. You can pair this with retinol, with exfoliating acids, with things like your BHAs, like salicylic acid. It works amazing with vitamin C. You can use it with azelaic acid, with niacinamide, with bakuchiol. There's so many ingredients that are found in a lot of our products already or that we're using on a daily basis. And you're thinking, how do I bring in tranexamic acid to get the benefits? You don't have to worry because this just pairs beautifully with all these other active ingredients now like i mentioned before this one is safe to use twice a day and i actually personally recommend that you try to get your frequency up to twice a day where you will get the best results now if you're now starting just like with active ingredients in general you want to start slowly and build your frequency so i would recommend that you use either morning or night start once a day and gradually build your frequency to getting this ingredient in your routine morning and evening like the other products I mentioned, the base of this again is aloe. Tranexamic acid is actually paired with 5% niacinamide. So you do also have some brightening support from that niacinamide in this particular serum. The texture of this one is the usual cause de Baja texture. So it is a little bit more viscous than the vitamin C and the lactic acid that we spoke about in this video. However, it works beautifully on the skin. There is no pilling. It absorbs into the skin. And one of the things that I actually do with these types of serums from cause de Baja is that I actually mist my face before I apply applied and it just makes the whole application so much better. Now, I do have personal experience with this. In fact, the bottle that I have right now is empty. I am on my second bottle of this product. Absolutely love it. And I really put it to the test because back in October last year, I had some breakouts and they left some really, really dark marks on my skin. And I decided that I was actually going to use the tranexamic acid to really target that. Now, I kept my retinol, my regular acids and my vitamin C in my routine. I did not use any other product or ingredient to target hyperpigmentation. I focus specifically on the tranexamic acid. In 21 days, the change was drastic. It was very visible. And I realized that this product works amazingly on pigmentation. Not only that, I do get a little bit of melasma around my mouth and so on, and this cleared it up beautifully. The point that I'm trying to make is that if you are dealing with hyperpigmentation, whatever type it is, and you really want to take it up a notch because you already have your retinol, you are exfoliating, you're using a vitamin C and SPF, which is critical, try tranexamic acid. It might be that ingredient that makes a difference for you. And finally, when it comes to tranexamic acid, this is one of those ingredients that can be used by almost everybody unless you're actually allergic to it or have some contraindication. You're good to go. Even sensitive skin types who may not be able to use some other products when it comes to hyperpigmentation, this is one that you can definitely try. We've come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much if you've remained until this point. I know it is a mouthful, but in these types of videos, I like to give you a little bit more detail in terms of the products, how they feel, why they work, how they are formulated, what type of skin types, when you can use it, what you can use it with. So I hope that all of this information was really, really helpful for you. Please give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down 
down below i'd love to hear if you've tried any of these what has been your experience what is your favorite cause de baja product and by the way this video is not sponsored i am just simply impressed with this brand the affordability of it and the accessibility now i hope to see you guys in another video again soon take care bye